This is Len, KD0RC, and today I'm going to show you how I calibrated my Regal DSA815 using WWV. So first a little bit about the setup. What you're looking at is the signal from the 10 megahertz output port on the back and then that's just feeding the signal generator. That's not really important for the calibration but just so that you can see. Uh, next thing to do is understand how you put it into calibration mode and the Regal uh, documentation isn't very clear on that so let's look at that. So what you start off with is trace, tracking generator, function marker, measuring setup, system, print setup, storage, then you get the little message that says you're going into that mode. Now what's not clear in the documentation is it says push the down arrow. That is not this down arrow. It, they mean the second page of menu. So you go to system, second page of menu. Now you have a new item on here called service. Click service, click calibration, and now you have something called the reference DAC or digital to analog converter. So with the unit that I have, this was originally factory set at 1846. I discovered if I knocked it down to 1833, I could get another about one or two hertz uh, of accuracy. So the way it works is you select that you can't dial it which is ridiculous uh, has no effect what you have to do is key in the value so I'm going to put this back to 1846 which was the factory and of course you wouldn't want to use this enter key you would have to use this enter key alright and then I can save that calibration and now I'll be back where I was so my technique for doing this is to have a receiver on CW listening to 10 megahertz WWV and then I have a program called spectrogram that's showing me that signal so this is strictly a reference point I don't care about the absolute accuracy of spectrogram I don't care about the absolute accuracy of the calibration of my receiver I'm just giving myself a reference signal now here's the funny part of the setup I take the output of the 10 megahertz reference oscillator and I clip a high-tech antenna to it and now on spectrogram I can see both signals and what's not clear from this because I didn't do it while you were watching is that signal is now offset um, higher than 800 hertz right now by about one or two hertz and it is the combination of the WWV signal plus the tracking generator or not tracking generator but, but reference generator signal uh, that shows me that I'm off just a little bit so I will oh, get down so now I can reset my reference DAC to 1833 save the calibration <clears throat> and now when I come back over you see that that signal is more centered on that 800 Hertz line than it was before indicating that it's lined up better with the signal from WWV as close as I can get it so that's my little trick for calibrating this um, if anybody thinks of reasons I shouldn't be doing it that way let me know but uh, so far that seems to work. It was only off by about a hertz, maybe two in the first place. Uh, so that's, the, uh, that's what I've come up with. Thanks.